I have been asked a couple of times about my YouTube recording setup. Um, I'm not sure if it warrants a video because I don't really have one. <laughs> like everything in my life, it's about what can I repurpose, what can I reuse, uh, what's cheap and what's cheerful. So my setup is basically that I still have my old mobile phone that was previous to the one that I have as my actual mobile now, which is a, a Samsung Galaxy S7. And my previous phone, which I only stopped using because all the banking apps obsoleted the model. Um, and I was kind of forced to get one because this phone that I use for recording has tons of battery life. And although it's not the best and it's been offline since 2019, um, it still works as a basic camera. So that's what I use. I bought a um, a bigger memory card for it because one of the great things about Samsung is you can put your own memory cards into them. So I got one with lots of extra space. I think it's like a 25 gig or something like that. And uh, that means that I can do a ton of recording. And my old mobile is a Samsung Galaxy um, Ace J3 which I bought in 2016 and stopped using in 2019. So that's what I use and it sat around forever and then last year I realised that um, I quite want, liked the idea of having a separate recording camera to my mobile phone. So that's why I use this. And it does the job and Samsung's great because you can just plug a USB straight into the laptop. Um, I can just drop everything down from the phone and it's nice and easy. The other things I use, I have a um, a cradle in the car which sticks to the windscreen. And I, that took a bit of an experiment because what you don't want is one with an arm on it because the vibrations from the car when you're driving just ruin the screen. So I had a couple of old cradles which I've cobbled together into one so I've got it's a nice strong suction on the windscreen and then a nice clamp and it's got a, a, like a very very short static arm with um, like a roller ball on it so I can turn the camera around so that's what I use for that um, I also have which I used for a while a bendy arm on a clamp which I can clamp to things and record like that I don't like it as much and then back in 2017 I bought for a holiday I was going on a really cheap selfie stick. I think it was like three or four pounds and it had a little tripod stand on it and it was a really good little um, a good little tripod and then last week I accidentally sat on it and I snapped one of the legs so I now have a selfie stick that doesn't have a tripod stand on it and I've been looking at replacing it and the cheapest ones I can find on eBay are like seven quid and I thought do I need the tripod? Because the selfie stick itself still works. It's got a really long telescope on it, so I can make it like about a metre long or something. And then I thought, do I actually need to buy a new one just to get the tripod? So I have a new setup, which I'm going to show you now. So here's my actual selfie stick. It's really good. It's on a little um, spring thing, so it really clamps nice and tightly. That moves. Um, you can do what you like with that. Um, this is the actual telescopic stand and we are now in a bottle and it's a posh bottle it's a hotel chocolat bottle <laughs> but actually i find this better than the tripod because with the tripod you need you to have quite a wide base to put it on so if i wanted to balance it on a shelf or something it didn't fit this is much narrower so i can pop this in a corner somewhere and it's really nice and solid and I've just put like a, a rubber band into there around the selfie just to keep it nice and straight. And I will probably work on this. Um, but I think for now I'm just going to stick to that. So I've cobbled that together. <laughs> and that is pretty much my setup for software. I use uh, Cyberlink Power Director. I use the free version because otherwise it costs money. That's why you see a logo in the corner of all my videos because when you get something for free... Uh, I think, it, and it's a good product, why not advertise for them? The least I can do for getting such a great free product. It has tons of features on it, and 
through having that I've learned how to do my own video editing. It's great because you can do overlays, there's lots of effects, there's lots of stuff that you do actually get for free um, where most of them probably wouldn't give you that much but Power Director is really good and I've got really used to using it. And someone else asked about um, my recording schedule. Um, I don't have one. I record when I have something to say. Um, ideally, I suppose now that I am, I suppose that now now I am monetized, it pays to have a video out, say every other day or every two days. Uh, but it depends on what I've got going on. I'm not just gonna talk about absolutely nothing just to fill space because that's not very interesting. My videos are pretty much day in the life so as a rule whatever I am doing probably counts within that but it has to be more than me just moaning about the weather or something you know there needs to be a bit more substance to it. At the moment and for the last couple of weeks I've been posting every day and I do go through phases of that and that's purely because I have stuff to say. There are things going on, things that I want to talk about, things that affect my life, particularly with um, things like the universal credit and the, the state pension changes and all little things like that. At end of month there'll be you know, some um, finance reviews, things like that and I try to if there are particular subjects that people might be interested in, I try to break up the posts. So the recent Universal Credit, when I did about going to my latest Universal Credit meeting, I could have thrown in on one of my day in the life and, and turned it into a 40 minute video. But for people who are only interested in things to do with Universal Credit and looking at, for advice and guidance, um, they won't want to sit through the rest of it. So because my because all my videos are basically my day-to-day -day life, there will be aspects of my day-to-day -day life that some people will find interesting, um, but other aspects that they won't. So I try to break it up. The day-in-the-life ones tend to be, you know, um, me walking about talking about what I'm doing. It'll include uh, vintage sales that I've done, um, errands that I'm running, um, shopping hauls, so my uh, yellow sticker purchases, uh, when I'm driving to cleaning and then I'll talk about stuff when I'm doing that because that's a nice place to record whilst I'm sitting there I might as well do something and those tend to be the longer ones and I think it's the longer videos that probably make the money because the longer the video is the more ads get shoved in front of people's faces but I tend not to do really short videos anyway just because what I'm talking about tends not to lend itself to say something that's less than eight minutes but if there was something that I thought needed to be said and it was going to be short, then I'd put it out. It doesn't matter. It just so happens that the sort of things I record fit better with long videos. And I try to keep things to somewhere between 15 and 45 minutes. I think 45 minutes is quite long. I think half an hour is quite sufficient. Um, but I know that um, a lot of the, the, longer, the longer videos that I follow on other channels I will often use as um, kind of background noise when I'm doing other things and I know that people do that with mine as well because they've told me and I think that's a really nice way to, to kind of manage it because I follow so many channels and sometimes I might not have anything to watch sometimes I might have 15 or 20 videos queued up and so a lot of them work really well just as... Um, background noise. You don't always need to watch everything that's going on. So that's how I get through so many videos on my channel and particularly with the walking around videos and just the talks I think that lends it really well to almost like a podcast style so you don't have to watch everything if you don't want to. Anyway so that's basically my setup. It's not exciting. Um, there is no schedule. I record when I record. Um, I edit and upload as soon as I can and if I've had a week where I've not done very much I'll record lots of small videos and stick them all together into a kind of like a, a week in the life sort of thing which works really well um, but I have enough time in between all my other jobs and things that I do where I can I can do editing and it doesn't take an enormous amount of time to edit most videos um, I have a particular kind of style of doing it and that kind of works so 
yeah uh, that's pretty much it in terms of light um, I'm at the mercy of nature so I have two rooms in my uh, in my home that produce enough daylight to record at. I'm standing in my front room window at the moment. I have quite big windows, but this time of year the light is not good. So I will often, as I've shown you there with the, the stand which is now in the bottle, um, I will stand it in the window there and then I've got as much natural light as possible on me. I don't use ring lights, um, I don't have any of that. Sometimes I'm, if I record and it's really low level light, I'll put like one of my side lamps on or something and that just makes a difference. I follow all sorts of channels where people are practically recording in the dark if they're recording and they're driving and it's at night and you can hear them but you can't see them and some people record when they're getting up in the morning and it's still dark in their bedrooms or they've gone to bed at night and um, you know I, I, I like that rough and ready approach that that is life <laughs> and that's what I aim to be here I don't want it to be polished and perfect uh, this is me this is my life and um, I don't see any reason to change that at the moment because people seem to like that. Um, I'm getting a nice tick over of views and subscribers and I'm now monetized so I'm making money out of it. And yeah, no no real reason to change at the moment. So that's my setup really, that's the lot. I can't think of anything else that I really need to add on that. Um, yeah, when uh, when when I record, I will I will pre-schedule my videos. So if I've done quite a few, I will schedule them over the course of a week or maybe even two weeks, depending on how relevant the subject is. And um, then I can see where the gaps are. And, and when you pre-schedule like that, you can also move them around. So if I do another video that seems more time sensitive, like I need to get this out now, I can always shift a post around. And that's why sometimes the chronology on some of my videos isn't always quite right um, because sometimes I need to put something else in there or I've made an addition uh, but I don't think people are that bothered I mean I see people who post up videos that they recorded weeks before uh, I don't think it matters I don't think people really mind I'm not that kind of channel where uh, you know those aren't the kinds of criticisms I get so I'm going to leave that here this is going to be a post all of its own um, I think we've got about 10 minutes, so that's a, a reasonable a reasonable length. If you are, if you don't have any money, you don't have any setup, there are all sorts of ways that you can cobble together a very, very basic setup for recording on YouTube. And YouTube is so easy to upload to. I don't even have Wi-Fi. I have 4G and I have no problems uploading videos. Um, so, yeah, it's, um, it's cheap and cheerful, is what it is. My setup is just like my channel, it's frugal, it's basic, and um, we just get on with it. So <laughs> that's been of use to anybody who was perhaps thinking of starting a channel and thinks, well, I don't have a, any fancy lights or a fancy camera or anything like that. I mean, you can pick, if you need a, like a stand, you can pick up a cheap selfie stand with a tripod on it for seven or eight quid on eBay or probably cheaper on some other place, and you're basically ready to go. That's all you need. Hope that's been helpful. Uh, any questions, drop me a line. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.